Hello my students, how are you today? I'm your English teacher, Teacher Razan Al-Akra. Today, inshallah, we'll continue with our unit, unit number 8, lesson number 5, writing in your workbook, page 88 and 89. Our outcome for today, students should be able to write a summary of a story. Now, open your workbook, page 88. Let's start with the first activity. Activity number 1, read the sentences from a summary of a trip to remember a new people's book pages 60 and 61 cross the sentences which do not contain important information so here we have eight sentences we are going to cross the sentences which do not contain important information سنقوم بوضع علامة X على الجمل التي لا, لا يوجد فيها معلومات مهمة for example here we have number three one of the inventions in her grandma's workshop was a flying trumpet. So this is unimportant information. Now I will give you three minutes to think and try to answer this activity. Good job girls. Here we have sentence number five and number six. Number five, the pike made noises like whoosh or clunk and Abid started to paddle. This is unimportant information. So what across? Number six, in the future, Abby saw a purple car flying past a skyscraper. This is also an important information. Now, let's move to activity number two. You are going to write a summary of a trip to remember. Look at the story on your pupil's book, pages 60 and 61. Write notes to complete the chart. Here we have the first paragraph or the first note. Someone. Who are the main characters? What do we need to know about them? So the answer is, the main characters are Abby and her grandma. Abby likes playing games on her tablet more than playing outside. And her grandma is an inventor. Now let's complete and continue with wanted. What did the characters want? Good job girls. Here we have the answer. Abby wanted to play games on her tablet. And her grandma wanted Abby to play outside because fresh air is important and we won't have it forever. Number three. So, what did the characters do? Good job, girls. Abby, it was Abby's birthday. Abby found an old-fashioned purple pike in her grandma's workshop. She got on the pike and started to pedal forward. And here we have, what was the problem? Good job, girls. Abby traveled to the future. She saw lots of sky skyscrapers. The air was polluted and there were no birds or trees and there weren't any children playing outside. She felt sad. And here we have the end of the story. What happened in the end? Good job, girls. She jumped onto the pike and pedaled backwards. She was back in Grandma's workshop. Abby got her present, and it was a new time travel game for her tablet. Abby asked her grandma to play outside. She learned that fresh air is important. Now let's move to the next page. Page 89, activity number 3. Now you are ready to write. Write a summary of a trip to remember using no more than 100 words. So here we have the beginning of the summary. You have to complete the summary as a homework. So let's read the beginning of the summary together. A trip to remember. One day, Abby was playing a virtual tennis game on her tablet, and her grandma wanted Abby to play outside because fresh air is important and we won't have it forever. It was Abby's birthday. Abby found an old-fashioned purple pike. Now it is your turn to complete the rest of the summary. 
you can use the previous notes in activity number two so here we have activity number two you can use these notes to complete the summary thank you my lovely students for your listening see you later and goodbye